welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below so the pve also have the a great command line interface uh, which you can click on this pve node and click on the shell so you can access this uh, command line user interface either you can also access that from the uh, put a session so example say that you just provide the ip address of your remote machine and you can just say that username and password you can just log into that particular virtual machine so the pve environment the command line environment here so here what you can do is that you can do whatever you do from the uh, console or you can also do the same from here but uh, before that i just going to share a few details um, which is a basic details of uh, how this um, command line works example say that so for the uh, managing the virtual machines we use the qm and for managing the containers we use uh, pct okay so you can just uh, create the containers you can create the virtual machines you can start stop shut down you can do whatever it is you can change the settings as well from the here so let's say uh, qm list let's say if you if you want to see that what are the virtual machines are available on that particular uh, pve or if you can also say P pct list which is also show the containers which is currently running or st stopped or anything whatever the details over here so first of all let's run with the qm and later we just go into the pct here so if you want to say that qm list and you can see the v vms over here and if you want to start the virtual machine the particular virtual machine you can just say that qm start and provide this vm id so vm id you have to provide it so the vm id is 100 here but if it is a template it does not start it shares shows that it is a template something like that okay example i'm just going to start the template here so which is a 110 you can say that so it say that you cannot start the vm template so it's a template so now i just already started uh, 100 and you can just go to qm list and see that the centos virtual machine is saying running and you can go over here and see the virtual machine status running you can see the green arrow mark here so that is called vm is running running over there so if you want to see the vm details or the config details um, anything so you can say that qm config and provide the machine id so you can see that all the details of that particular virtual machine so how many cores it is utilizing and whether the cd-rom is mounted and memory size and the host name and its id network all of these details you can see on boot is equal to one something either so if you want to change any of these parameters you can also change it from here let's say q set qm set and uh, iphon iphon the value so example i want to change this and boot value to the zero of that particular vm id enter and 
Now you can again see that QM config and say you can see onboard value is zero. So which means that whenever you start the onboard is not enabled. So if you want to revert it back again, onboard equal to one and say yes. Now again the details are updated. You can just check the configuration here. You can see that onboard is one. So this is how you can simply set example. You wanted to set the virtual machines memory QM set and say iphone iphone memory value so which is actually 4089 i just make it something like 5089 here and 100 is the virtual machine id you can say which is already updated now config check and go here you can see the memory value is increased you can also go here and verify what is the hardware value here you can see that which is actually 5GB but which is not actually updated. So what you have to do you have to reboot the virtual machine in order to update this settings So to do that. So what I'm going to do is that QM Reboot 100 So it will be reboot initiated for that particular machine and you can just go to QM list and see whether what it's doing so it is say that it is running and if you go here you can see that the memory value is upgrade upgraded completed so that's how you can do that so if you want to example reset or stop the uh, virtual machine you can do QM stop 100 so which is going to be gracefully stop that virtual machine so without uh, uh, asking any permissions or anything on the host level. So it just gracefully set down the virtual machine if you do this QM stop You can see that it is stopped So if you want to start back again, you can say QM start and provide the ID So it will start it back If you want to reset exam sometimes what happens is that uh, when the uh, from the console here so if you go to the console here and open the virtual machine and you are trying to shut down or restart from here it does not respond so you just go into some actions and it is doing something here you can see something like this but it does not uh, do anything so if you want to do a reset at the stop you can do execute it from here let's say that uh, qm reset and 100 so which is going to be gracefully restart the virtual machine so if at all it is struck any of the um, in any of the middle so it just reset the virtual machine so this is going to be very very useful so you can also create the virtual machine from here let's say that qm create and say maybe your id might be say that 107 i say iphone iphone name let's go into centos or maybe you can say ubuntu version here ubuntu 20 vm something like that my name and i'm just going to say that orchestration so the architecture of that is 64 bit and auto start equal to one and how many cores you would like to assign to that virtual machine I say one core it should assign and what is the keyboard layout you want and English US and memory what is the memory you'd like to utilize or allocate to that particular virtual machine I say 1 GB on boot is enabled and what is the storage so storage is going to be your storage name here so what is the storage data store name here you have so maybe I can say that VG0 is my storage name which is going to utilize over here and uh, and you can also assign the uh, bridge the network level bridge okay net zero I say here is VMBR zero and enter so maybe yeah this value is not correct enter here and you can see now QM list you can see the virtual machine has been
created over here so this is how you can create the virtual machine and uh, you can also start stop and do anything but uh, if you want to install the OES of course you have to go here and uh, access this uh, console access then only you can able to do the operating system installation so let's do here how you can maintain the containers here so you can use the containers for uh, PCT is for um, Proxmax containers you can see that Proxmax containers here so it is also a similar command you can see that PCT config and uh, you can just verify that the configuration of the existing container okay if you want to start stop you can just see PCT stop and say 101 which is going to stop the container and you can see PCC list so that is stopped and I can start it 101 and let's verify with the list you can see here so again the container is running if you want to set any details so any parameters or property changes you can also do that example say PCT set uh, 101 maybe memory if you want to increase the memory value so from 10224 to maybe you would like to increase to the 1500 something like that you can also do it enter now you can go ahead and see that before it was 1024 MB in size now it is 1500 MB in size you can also change on board you can also say shut down restart reset or if you want to access the container console so that there is a one more option in this which is very very useful if you would like to go and connect to that particular container let's say PCT enter and provide the value of that particular container you can see that now I am in container exit I can see here center is it container I just connected to that and come came back from here so there are lot many options here you can just manage the all the details all the settings over here but this is the very very basics i just run through like how to start stop the virtual machines and containers from the command line so if you want to have the integrated uh, automation stuff with the shell scripts or the ansi bell you can also integrate and uh, provision those um, containers or the virtual machines using this uh, ssh connectivity so that's a basic command line introduction to the PVE. For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications.